Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We begin chapter 2, first order differential equation for subtopic 2.1, separable or variable. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to distinguish between general and particular solution and solve separable of differential equation. The introduction to first order differential equation. A simple type of differential equation, for example, is dy dx equals to x squared minus 3. We integrate it to produce the required solution. Differential equation can be regarded as a mathematical model for many practical situations such as population growth, radioactive decay, chemical mixture, temperature cooling, velocity and acceleration problem, and etc. The definition 1, a differential equation is one which relate an independent or dependent variable with one or more derivative. Below are the example of differential equation. The differential equation is an equation that contain a differentiation and the variables. The equation may contain first derivative or second derivative or more. Definition 2 Order is the highest derivative in a differential equation. Degree is the highest power of the highest derivative which occurs in a differential equation. In this chapter, we only deal with first order and first degree differential equation. A differential equation has general solution and also a particular solution. Definition 3 The general solution is a differential equation contain an arbitrary constant C, while the particular solution of a differential equation contain a specified initial value and containing no constant. Okay, now we look at the differential equation with separable variable. Differential equation with separable variable means that the differential equation in which the variable can be algebraically separated. A differential equation is separable if it can be written whether in the form dy dx equals to p of x times q of y or in the form dy dx equals to p of x over q of y or maybe in the form dy dx equals to q of y over p of x. To solve the equation, which means that we want to find the original equation, we have to follow this step. First, separate the variables of x and y, x by the side of dx and y by the side of dy. And then we integrate both sides independently and we're going to end up with two types of solution, whether a general solution, which is in terms of C, or we're going to have particular solution if we are given the initial value. Okay, now let's try to solve the differential equation of example 1. So we have y squared dy dx plus x cubed equals to 0. So the first step is we're going to separate the variable. So we have y squared dy dx and I just bring x cubed to the other side so we have negative x cubed and then I also bring dx to the other side so we have negative x cubed dx so we come to the second step which is 
integrate both sides. Okay, so we integrate both sides. So integrate of y squared, so we have y cubed over 3. And integrate negative x cubed, we have negative x power of 4 over 4 and plus c. So we're supposed to have plus c on integration of y but what actually happened is that we combine the c on the both side and we just put plus c on the right side then we simplify the equation by bringing 3 to the right side so we have here s y q equals to negative 3 over 4 of x power of 4 plus C. So this is a step three, which is we have a general solution. Example two. Solve a differential equations of sine x over 1 minus y dy dx equals to cos x. So in order to separate the variables, so I will bring sine x to the right side. So we left with uh, 1 over 1 minus y of dy dx equals to cos x over sine x and then we bring the dx to the right side so we have cos x over sine x dx and then we integrate both sides since we successfully separate the variables of y and x on a different side. So first, we look at the integrations of y. So we have integrations of 1 over 1 minus y dy. So we're going to have negative ln. 1 minus y and for integrations of cos x over sin x dx so since the integration is in the form of f prime x over fx so we can directly integrate to have ln sin x So the integration of both sides will have negative ln 1 minus y equals to ln sin x plus c on right side. So we simplify the equation as by using the properties of ln. So we have ln. 1 minus y power of negative 1 equals to ln sine x plus c and in order to eliminate the ln we're taking exponent of both sides so we're gonna have 1 over 1 minus y since we have 1 minus y power of negative 1 so we're gonna have e power of ln sine x plus c and we can separate the index so we have e power of ln sine x times e power of c so we can represent e power of c into a 
and e power of ln sine x is actually a sine x where a is e power of c so we simplify as we get 1 minus y equals to 1 over a sine x so we have y as 1 minus 1 over a sine x so we have the general solution of the differential equation example 3 solve a differential equation e power of negative x times dy dx equals to 1 minus y squared okay first in order to uh, separate the variable so we bring e power of negative x to the side and left with uh, dy dx equals to 1 minus y squared over e power of negative x and then we bring 1 minus y squared to the left side and we have 1 over 1 minus y squared dy dx equals to 1 over e power of negative x and then we bring the dx to the side and left with dy and we have e power of negative x dx and then we integrate both sides independently so the integrations of 1 over 1 minus y squared is we can simplify as integrations of 1 minus y power of negative 2 and integrations of 1 over e power of negative x is uh, same as integrations of e power of x dx so the integration on the left side we're gonna have 1 minus y power of negative 1 over negative 1 times negative 1 and integrations of e power of x we're gonna have e power of x plus c on the left side we simplify as 1 over 1 minus y equals to e power of x plus c and then we simplify the equation 1 minus y equals to 1 over e power of x plus c so we're gonna have y as 1 minus 1 over e power of x plus c and this is a general solution for the differential equation example 4 find the particular solution of differential equation for 1 plus sine squared x dy dx equals to e power of negative 2y times sine 2x but in this example we are given the initial value y0 equals to 1 okay now let's try to separate the variables so by bringing 1 plus sine squared x to the right side so we left uh, with dy dx equals to e power of negative 2y sine 2x over 1 plus sine square x and then we bring an e power of negative 2y to the left side and we separate the dy dx so we have here as 1 over e power of negative 2y dy equals to sine 
to x over 1 plus sine squared x dx. And then we integrate both sides independently. So first we look at the integrations for 1 over e power of negative 2y dy. So I can simplify as integrations of e power of 2y dy. And integrate e power of 2y, we have e power of 2y over 2. And as for integrations of sine 2x over 1 plus sine squared x dx. So by using the identity of sine 2x, which is the double angle, so we have 2 sine x cos x over 1 plus sine squared x. So the integration is actually in the form of f prime x over fx, which is the differentiation of 1 plus sine squared x is actually 2 sine x cos x. So by using the identity, we can directly integrate to have ln 1 plus sine squared x plus c. Then as we finish uh, integrating both sides, so we put back the integration as e power of 2y over 2 on the left side equals to ln 1 plus sine squared x plus c on the right side. So as we given the initial value, which is when y0 equals to 1 and this is means that when x equals to 0 y is equals to 1 so we substitute the value to the both side so we have e power of 2 times 1 over 2 is equals to ln 1 plus sine squared of 0 plus c so we have e squared over 2 is equals to c okay since this one is actually 0 so we have the value of c as e squared over over 2 so then by putting back C into the, the general solution, so we have e power of 2y over 2 equals to ln 1 plus sine squared x plus e squared over 2. And that is a uh, particular solution of the differential equation.